Hello and welcome back to another episode of Home Glass Hacks with me, Laura Quinn. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to use UV glue for glass lamination, which you can do at home. So let's get started. Here's a sculpture I was making earlier using the UV gluing lamination technique and laminating just glass squares together. I'll show you how to do it. For this, you will need a dust mask. We're going to be grinding the glass a little bit, so that's what this is for. As always, when we're working with glass, we're going to be using some safety glasses. You'll need an oil filled glass cutter, which I've used in my video tutorials before. So you can look back on those for more information on that. You'll need a running pliers. You'll also need a ruler or a set square. You'll need a 600 grit diamond pad or higher or the wet and dry sandpaper that I showed in my previous tutorials if you don't have these diamond grinding pads. I recommend 600 and higher so that it's enough to take off the sharp edge, however you don't have to work your way all the way through the grits to get a slightly polished edge. You'll need a permanent marker to mark out where to cut your glass. And you'll need a container to hold some water in while we're grinding the glass. For this, we're using some UV light QR glue. So you'll need a UV torch. This one I got on Amazon for a few quid and it's strong enough to cure this UV glue. You need some glass cleaner and a lint free cloth. This is really important because we don't want any cloth fibers being left behind on our glass after we clean it. You'll of course need some glass for this. This is the UV glue that I'm using today. It is a Bonlock B350. This glues glass to glass and glass to metal. So make sure you always read the instructions and the warning on the back of the label. For this, we're going to be working in a well ventilated area. We're going to try and not inhale any of the fumes. We're going to be wearing our glasses as well, not touching our skin and wash your hands afterwards. But try not to actually touch the glue. If you have sensitive skin, you might want to wear gloves for this process in case you touch the glue. I'm first going to show you how to cut your glass. Here I have a piece of green glass. You can see here that there is a slightly rough side and a slightly more polished side. So we're going to be cutting on the slightly more polished side as we're more likely to have a cleaner cut. This is just a demonstration piece. The glass I used in the sculpture, which I'll show later on, is just clear glass and it doesn't have a rippled effect on either side. It's completely smooth. So if you've got any old window glass you want to use up, this is a perfect opportunity to make some sculptures with it. Mark up your glass where you want to cut it. Get your ruler or set square and your glass cutter. Line it up so it's straight. With a firm downward force, you want to score all the way along the side of the ruler. Be sure to leave a millimeter or two clearance for in between where the cutting wheel is and the edge of the tool. Once you've made the score mark, all the way down your piece, you'll then get your running pliers. So where the arrow is on the top of the running pliers wants to be on the same side as the score mark. Close these firmly and it should score a straight line. This is how you will cut up your glass for lamination. I'm going to show you now how to grind off the sharp edges on this. So here's all my glass that I pre-cut. You can see they still have all sharp edges and corners on them. 
Now I could spend a long time grinding all of the corners of these pieces for the sculpture but as it's just a tutorial I'm going to grind the very edges and the very corners just to show you. So it still will have that ripple effect from where it cracked along but it won't be sharp. Fill your container with water. I'm going to wear some gardening gloves for this process just to make sure I don't cut my fingers from the sharp edges. Wet your glass. We're going to be keeping the glass wet during all of these grinding processes as it has, helps to keep the dust down so that you don't inhale it. It also stops the diamonds burning out on your grinding pad and it stops the glass overheating. So repeat this for all corners and edges on your piece. So now we're going to learn how to laminate the pieces. I'm going to show you here some diagrams I made of different ways the glue can be applied to the surface. So here on the far right you'll see a blob in the centre. This wouldn't really work well as a glue application because once you start to sandwich it between the two pieces of glass it won't fill completely outwards. The middle diagram there shows actually something quite similar to what I do in this video tutorial. However, what happened with this is I found I got a lot of air bubbles with it. So what I want to suggest you to do instead is to make a different pattern with the glue. Do a slight X pattern and what that means is that the glue will run out as far as the corners and the air will be free to, to run out with it. If you have a long rectangular piece, consider reforming this shape into a dog bone type mark. I'm offsetting my glass squares a few degrees each time I put one down. And that's what's going to create my spiral effect in the sculpture. Press down hard to get rid of any air bubbles. Turn on your UV torch and place it on top for around 20 seconds. The time does depend on the strength of your UV light. Between each application, you want to clean the glass with a lint free cloth and make sure that there is no residue left behind and that it's completely dry and then you just continue on. Thanks for joining me today to learn this home glass hack. Have a go yourself at home and if you get baking, tag me in your creations at Laura Quinn Design and use the hashtag home glass hacks. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with my recent projects. 
enjoy and stay glossy.